Dude, what a ski season, huh, boys? It was a hell of a season. Dude, we crushed it. So I got this CT90 used in Corvallis, Montana, down in the Bitterroot Valley. I uh, paid $300 for it off the Craigslist, and we're, uh, we're fixing it up now. Nice, nice. So the engine was definitely seized, as they often are. So we are going to put in a life fan here, 125. We got it off of Amazon. Quality Chinese engine. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> But I think like we shouldn't have any problems. Cause this also has the old riser and the gasket. Once I get that, like that, and that, like that. Like yeah, you'll be you'll be dead set and ready. What you mean? We're unboxing. Get that chrome. Hot damn. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that OG that red looks paint. Good, dude. It's shiny. <laughs> Yo, no <laughs> way. How do I get the rest of my bike to look like that? <laughs> mm, so it was just going on there. You gotta bust out that. Right. That, uh, Center. Oh, because oh, we got to get good. it all the way. Right. Damn. I don't think there was two on the bottom. There was a bottom on the fifth. Right where you belong. Rest easy, little fella. So, Nick here is working on our favorite part. File in to fit the ignition in. Listen to that beautiful sound. Woo! Jason, does that motherfucker only have one eye? He does. Yeah. Yeah. Where have you been? Yeah, man. I just never wanted to ask him about it. He's pretty cool about it. Oh yeah, he'll tell you about it. He'll yeah. show you. He'll show you his eye socket. And yeah. yeah. All right, the ignition is in. Look who showed up. <laughs> I mean, we could rebuild it all. That's a lot of work. You know? Right. Beautiful symmetry, Dan. <laughs> That's what we're talking about right there. I mean, I think it's getting closer. Dude, I think that's couple, definitely a couple better. more wax. That does look better. So if I pull up on this, wall you beat on that side, right. so we're not losing our beat the out of it, dude. Nick's got eyes on it, you tell us when. So the other thing that we're dealing with right now is that guy's going inwards. No, man. I mean, Let's see. That looks pretty f good. That looks pretty f good. That's. Look at that fit. Boom. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's how, it, that's that's how she went. And then... There she goes. Beautiful. Oh, all my wires are the exact same color. That's. Dude. Green to green, oh, nothing but green to green. Yeah, and then like, well, the bike runs now, but I hope this never lights on fire or anything, because that would be a real pain in the so ass. So there's like a fix. white to red to green, which is your ground, so you know that if you're looking at a goddamn Christmas tree, you're in the ground zone. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I think this side over there is that a side, worse. Yeah, it's really uh, That one's real thick in there. Nice and smooth. Look at that. Nice and smooth like eggs. Smooth like eggs. Brilliant. 
<laughs> one up, I got better papers. The better papes? The better papes and filters, which I highly recommend. The only the, the filter is what threw me off, you know. What was that? Give us the tutorial. All right, you want to see, so you guys want to know how to roll sh Yes, please. Rule number one for me. You got to use a filter. Filter is on the side of your dominant hand. Most people do not do the filter on the dominant hand. They do it on their non-dominant hand, which is absolute garbage. Non-dominant hand is going to move up and down to pack all the material. So you want to start at the base, roll a little bit down, keeping that pinch together. And now you're starting to get some circular action there. So you start the tuck and you tuck around the filter. That's why the filter is so important. It's a consistent mm. cylinder. Oh. Once you tuck around the filter, as long as your material is in a cylinder as well, everything else will tuck perfectly behind it. So watch this. Down, oh, shit. tuck, shit. look at that. It's, it's already rolled. And then all you have to do, spin it up. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> right. And boom, look at that. Holy Beautiful. You got a cigarette. I remember I talked to a guy and I was like, hey, I was kind of looking to buy a CT90 frame. He's like, you can't, like, it's all or nothing. He's like, really? I just want these things gone. What? We don't, you know. They did you mention the pile when you walked in or yeah, did you just walk in and say, I, don't remember, did I they just have a kind of want one. Do you happen no, to have I was, one? Just I was riding behind their shop just right. on just, just <laughs> general, just like riding. And I was like looking through their fence. And I was like, oh, shit. There's like a ton of CT90s back there. I'm imagining a literal <laughs> mountain about like three months. It was, it was, it was, it was a, a stack. It was this yeah. beautiful yellows, oranges, and reds. It had like a 12 foot deck over equipment trailer, like probably like, you know, the same size as a dump trailer. And I went in there and yeah, I fucking bought all of them. And then I pulled the truck in and hand loaded all those There's like most of them without wheels, just like hulking them onto the trailer. Yeah, rusty ass. <laughs> and then, Friends. I called Dan and I'm like, dude, I need help with this. Shit. So I'm driving and then I see my boss's truck behind me, his personal truck. <laughs> and then I turn into the shop and I get a call and he's like, Tim, is that you I saw with a trailer full of rusty old bikes? I go, yeah, yeah. He's like, where are you taking them? Oh, to the shop, to the shop. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. But Monday morning, none of those are going to be there. So me and Dan had one day to just tear these things down, get a usable stack that we could throw in his truck to take to my house. <laughs> then the rest, some of them were like beyond repair damaged, but we had to bring to the dump for like scrap. I showed up at Tim's shop and he had like a wrench in each hand, and he was just like <laughs> wandering around the shop, like no idea. Analysis like, paralysis. Just around the shop, yeah, just like what am I? What am I? Turned into one. one. Yeah. One. one Morphed. One Powers combined. Which, that's amazing. Though. That worked out. Yeah. No, not a single usable engine among the pile not a single of usable CT. Engine. There was like most three. of them didn't even have it. That commitment is what started the crew. I mean, once you have fourteen of them to yeah. various degrees of disarray, you got parts on that, so you just gotta really commit to that specific. Right, and that's what we did. We just Frankenstein fit together with a pile of junk.